Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Releasing Bake, Using Bake. Very exciting. Uh, bake is a great new command line utility that I made that is a replacement for make and bash combined. It uses bake or uses bash, uh, does not use make, but it's a, it's a pretty cool little tool. So if I run bake here, one moment, you will see there's only uh, four or five commands displayed on the screen. And that is because anything with two slashes in it and gets omitted from the output by default. Uh, you can specify the number of levels that you want displayed. So if I want four levels displayed, it'll display four and three and two and one and of course zero. Pretty nifty. And of course, as always, you can do dash json and it will uh, honor that as well. So dash json dash levels nine and that'll include everything. And if you pipe that around, it won't be colorized. So that's, uh, that's nice. But anyway, um, some other features that come in this release are these new commands. So we have bake indent, bake not red, bake red, bake redless, and bake step. I show them here. If you go to the bake file in the repo, you will see, um, where is it? CLI, it's at the bottom. Yeah, here. So this is an example of me using these functions. So you can call bake from within bake, which is pretty cool. And you can also call these sub steps, which are used to augment your, your bake files. So I can do uh, bake red high and it displays high on the screen in red, which is nice. So that took an argument, but I can also echo high and pipe it into bake red and it does the same thing as expected. So let's see here, we got echo high, bake indent. Bake step, and there's a step. So you can call all these from there. So you can do bake CLI and it'll execute all these little steps here. I should not be read, I should be read, test, test, test. Excellent. So that's a big improvement. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Um, other things that you can do, here's a, here's a nice little trick. You can do big dash dash source and then a task name. Or this is the code that actually gets run by bash. So at the top I have the, these variables defined. And then uh, this is the actual part that's in the CI here, you see? So it generates this bash script. That gets... So anyway, let's do a release. Bake release. Let me grab my PyPI keys. I keep in the keychain. You'll note that it just did interactive mode automatically. That is because I have this dash this at interactive flag here, which is kind of, kind of nice. So it, it automatically dropped down to an interactive shell. And yep, there we go. I just released uh, Bake. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about Bake, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Kenneth Wrights. And looking forward to iterating on this more. Thank you very much.